guys ready? All right, here we go. Here's your first passage. For yourselves treasures in heaven. Thomas. Matthew 6, 19 to 21. That is correct. Please recite it. Matthew 6, 19 to 21. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and seal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Matthew 6, 19 to 21. That was so good, Thomas. And as you were reciting that passage, it reminded me of something I experienced years ago when it comes to treasure. Years ago, I was a part of an organization that was obtaining a piece of land and we were gonna do something with it. And so we were clearing the land and there was one tree on the entire property that we decided to cut down. So we cut that tree down and of course the stump was left. And to get a stump out, you've gotta dig a ditch around it, pour water in, loosen it, and then yank it. So after cutting the tree down and beginning to dig the ditch, as the pickaxe penetrated the earth, we suddenly heard the sound of breaking glass only to look down and find wads of cash sticking out of the earth. 50 million, no, just kidding. <laughs> Thomas is like, what's that address? <laughs> it was actually $2,200, Thomas, but that was nothing to sneeze at because back in that time, because the bills dated back to the 1930s, the average income was about, you know, $2,700. I mean, you could buy a car for about $700, a new house for like $3,400. So $2,200 was a treasure. The man who said money doesn't grow on trees was right. He just forgot to look under them. <laughs> but I couldn't help but wonder how many people lived at that house over the decades from the 1930s. How many of them maybe even had financial problems and sat on that very spot where that treasure was buried and didn't even know it was there. And that's how it is with God's word because you're speaking about heavenly treasure in that passage. We store up heavenly treasure. God's given us a treasure through his word and by that we can do that. And a lot of us have it, it's right under our nose and we don't even recognize its value. We don't dig into it and make use of it. I hope you're doing that continually, Thomas. You're obviously memorizing. I pray you continue to put God's word practically into your life. Well, you definitely got it in your mind and I, believe you're doing it through your heart too because you just got 500 points. Yeah, Thomas. <laughs>